Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 17 in Killer Shell exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. Question number 17. So we have to solve this on this specific host. So let's connect to the host 5601. The question says, last lunch you told your coworker from department Mars Inc. how amazing init containers are. Now he would like to see one in action. There's a deployment YAML at this location. So this deployment spins up a single part of image uh, Nginx type, Alpine, and uh, serves file uh, from a mounted volume, which is empty right now. Create an init container named init-con, which also mounts that volume and creates a file index.html with the content, check this out, in the root of the mounted volume. For this, uh, for this test, we ignore that it doesn't contain a valid HTML. The init container should be uh, using the image PC box uh, 1.31.0. Uh, test your implementation, for example, using curl uh, from a temporary uh, Nginx Alpine pod. Okay, so the focus here is clearly on the init uh, containers and um, uh, also a bit of uh, volume mounts. And, uh, and then trying to connect to the pod to see whatever the changes that we made uh, is actually reflecting. So they say they have the deployment uh, manifest here. So let's, let's uh, I mean, as, as a practice, let's first copy the file so we don't lose the file uh, because of our changes. So I'll, I'll say this is, uh, test init container new dot yaml and then open open the new file right so the deployment has one replica already and uh, it has a volume it has a container based on this image it has a volume mount called web content uh, it's exposing the port, uh, container port uh, 80. And so now we have to create um, um, an uh, uh, init container. So let's create it just about the container section. Init containers. And it's going to hold most of the, um, I mean, the, the parameters what we use uh, will mostly be uh, similar to the containers. So it, it will have a Im name, uh, image, a command, volume, and, and uh, everything that looks similar that as of a container. So let's, let's copy everything from here and make the life easier. And then reuse the same here, and then modify uh, based on what's asked in the question. So init container name should be init hyphen con, and they've asked us um, to use the PC box image, and we should. Use a volume mount, so volume mount is going to remain the same, mostly. Uh, and so, yeah, let's modify the volume mount here. And we should uh, make sure the init container also executes uh, this command. 
so what we are asking it to do is basically open a shell and execute this command and the command is going to be simply echo within double quotes so they've asked us to use this content check this out so I'm using the content as um, it is and then I write this to a file and index.html so we are uh, using the same volume mount as web content here but in this init container we are using this mount by the stem web content so the content will be accessible uh, in the, under this location and what we are doing in this command section is basically we are simply writing this information into this index.html which is mounted here so that's it let's save this file and then let's create uh, the resource with the manifest that we just modified so it created a deployment let's inspect um, the deployment now uh, in the Mars namespace get pods and deployments so 13 seconds ago we have this init container already there um, so we have to connect uh, to this and see if um, the, the changes that we made to the content uh, is still um, reflecting so for that let's try and uh, use the hyphen hyphen white switch to get or uh, grab the IP address of the pod here so this is the one which is created like just a minute ago so now let's um, create a temporary pod temp let's say restart as never remove once the job is done interactive so image they've asked us to use the nginx alpine uh, in the question so what we have to do is curl simply curl this IP address and see if it is uh, reflecting the index.html which we have modified so we are expecting to see this check this out content if everything works okay so we have to use hyphen hyphen here all right so as you can see, uh, it uh, we have created a temporary port using Nginx Alpine image and tried to connect to this uh, init container we just created. And it's now reflecting the content to check this out. And once the job is done, the port itself is now deleted. So, so this confirms whatever the changes that we made um, uh, by creating the init container and modifying the file uh, and mounting the volume it all worked as intended so that yeah that concludes uh, the question uh, so thanks for watching this video so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you liked the video thank you and see you in the next video